Hey guys, just had a bit of a connection issue there. Andrew Hawks here, author of Rivers of Gold, How to Create Multiple Income Streams and these days unforced voice of Skyway. I'm here at the Osrail Expo in Brisbane. I'm not sure if that screen's dark or if it's just me. And the reason I'm holding these is because I'm going to actually be talking to some people here. So I'm just going to turn the screen around so you can have a look. Um, we have got a, a display here. Uh, you can come down, you can find out all about the, the, the rail uh, and, and how it works. Um, and you can also come and meet Rod Hook, who's, who's brought Skyway to Australia. Uh, there's a few representatives here from Skyway, which is awesome. Uh, and you can find out all sorts of great information. There's some great brochures here. There's some, um, well, look, why don't I just show you? I'll pass it out. I'll turn it around. Okay, so oh, we have Mila right there in front of us. Yep, hi. And we have Rod Hook right here. And, of course, we have Araha with us. And I just want to take you inside here and just show you. We've got all our specs and everything up on the wall, which is amazing. You can learn all about it. This here is actually the rail tech. It doesn't look like much, but believe me, it is uh, it's revolutionary. And of course, we've got a looping video that's just keeping going round and round and round. I want to try and get uh, get in touch with Rod here to see if he's got a few words. He's deep in conversation, so I'll try and come back to that. But we can see we've got this going on. Most of us have already seen this video, which is obviously awesome. Um, come down, there is actually a VR experience here. We're also going to have a VR experience on the... Uh, on the Saturday at the event in the Gold Coast, so you actually be able to sit on a uni bike and have a ride on it, which will be pretty revolutionary, pretty groundbreaking for the event so far. I think we'll be the first event to have done that, so that's pretty cool. Um, but guys, get yourselves down to the Exhibition Centre in Brisbane if you're in the area. Come meet Rod Hook, meet Araha if she's still here, meet Mila, meet Mari, and just find out more about it. Rod, can we get a couple of words? How are you? We can. Howdy. So, um, you're obviously the man responsible for bringing, uh, bringing Skyway to Australia. Well, what's what's so great about it? Uh, look, I've um, I came across the uh, Skyway as an opportunity um, two and a half uh, years ago. Uh, first heard about it, uh, was uh, impressed with the engineering from uh, day one. I think it's profound. I think Anatoly is a um, uh, very impressive as as an engineer and the the structure he has put together. So basically, we have a. A, a simple, a profound structure uh, that meets all engineering um, uh, expectations um, based on a suspension bridge and fully autonomous vehicles uh, and um, being able to build something that transports people, transports freight without causing congestion, without having accidents with level crossings um, and um, uh, there's just so much about it that I've liked which is why we um, made um, contact uh, with uh, Anatoly uh, two and a half years ago. I've been to Belarus three times and uh, we've talked up opportunities to uh, see this technology introduced into Australia. Fantastic. Thanks for that, Rod. Hey, look, I'm going to put you on the spot just a little bit because obviously we've had a lot of media rate li lately, um, the last couple of days about Elon Musk's Hyperloop being here in Australia. What advantages does Skyway have over, for, for all our watchers out there, what, what advantages does, does Skyway have over the Hyperloop? Uh, look, Musk is uh, obviously out there with his batteries and his electric cars and, of course, Hyperloop. Um, first thing I'd say is the difference between the two is we actually exist, we're operating in Belarus. Hyperloop isn't operating anywhere in the world. But if we go to a conference in Berlin or anywhere, uh, they'll have a stand about Hyperloop. If I've got to be travelled, oh, if I've got to travel 500 kilometres an hour from Melbourne to Sydney to Brisbane, and my means of travel is Hyperloop, where I've got to lie back and be shot through a vacuum tube, I think I'd prefer the option we're offering of a truss, uh, a system that is clear, it operates. Uh, I'd take my chances of uh, surviving in uh, Skyway uh, as uh, much more profound than anything that uh, Musk is putting out there. Uh, but look, he gets publicity. He gets, um, uh, he's got the ability to talk to uh, government leaders. Um, I think, um, uh, and I'm only quoting the words that Anatoly and Victor often say, I think they are brilliant engineers, I agree with that. Um, uh, Musk is probably a marketer, uh, Anatoly's an engineer, he's building something that works and you can see it. Awesome, thanks for your time Rod, appreciate that. Alright guys, so you've seen it right here, you've heard it from the horse's mouth so to speak. Um, 
<laughs> Rod didn't like that description, but anyway, you know what I mean. Um, guys, come down, check it out. Rod's very approachable. Everyone here is very approachable. You can learn a lot if you're in the Brisbane area. Even if you're on the Gold Coast, it's only an hour down on the train. Definitely jump in and um, come and check it out. So uh, obviously there's been a lot of publicity, as we've just said. Um, I know what I'd rather take my chances on too. I'm going to sign off for now, guys, but uh, keep, keep tabs here because we'll probably check in again throughout the day. Have a great day, guys. Take care.